From traditional housewives to political activists, as the miners' strike gathered momentum, the women who'd watched their husbands pick it began their own campaign and building friendships along the way that would never be forgotten. To these women, it feels like yesterday. Anne Richards organised this Miners' Wise reunion in Castleford, a mother of two at the time living on less than £12 a week. It was a time when propaganda ruled, when the media portrayed it as a battle between Scargill and Thatcher, and the miners were branded the enemy within. And I think the hard-heartedness of the government at that time that was trying to starve miners back to work and um, targeting particularly women with children. You know, if they thought, if that was a ploy of theirs to get the women to get the men to go back to work, well, they were sadly mistaken. Finding their own voice, they began a very public campaign. Defending their men, the strike was to change these women's lives forever. When the strike started, there was a complete reversal of roles. And because we had to go out and do this collecting and um, rattling buckets and trying to generate funds for the food parcels, um, people used to come to us and say, can you come and talk to our group and tell us what you're doing and we'll have a collection for you. And of course, it then moved on to, would you like to say a few words? None of us had done public speaking before. And... uh, I was one (laughs) that was selected in the beginning, but we all did it. Now back together, this reunion has been a chance for these women to remember their part in creating British history. And more than two decades on, feelings are as strong as ever. A lot of us haven't seen each other for at least 20, 25 years. And it's just great and everybody's looking so well. And it's very emotional. United by the struggle... United by the past, and it's here we go, here we go, we're the women of the working class.